Hey guys, Joe here, and so I finally had an idea of how to get the audio to sound better, and I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner, but I just literally needed to bring Bluetooth headphones with me to at least improve the quality of the audio. So there we go. Anyway, so uh, I guess the lesson learned from that is sometimes we have this annoying problem, kind of like these fires that are going on every day, and we just deal with them and get frustrated by them on a daily basis. Another example of that is uh, my phone. It kept on falling down, you've seen it in the other videos, because um, I bought a case that had the magnet already inside of it, so I didn't have to put a magnet on the back of my phone. Um, it was more for aesthetics than anything else. And then, um, you know, I got tired of it, and it would happen constantly, at least once a day on driving my son to school. And same thing, didn't take a lot of time, but it was super frustrating, and then what you'll typically notice is if you have that shit happening within your business, well, you know, if something upsets you or throws you off course or just knocks you for a loop, well, it, it stops It stops progress. It changes your mindset, right? And so if something else happens, you know, during the course of the day when you're already upset that these things keep on happening day in and day out, well, then what happens is that you're not able to really think through the, the following situations. Uh, again, it might be holding you back. Um, there's just a a ton of different shit but it comes down to like you know in your business if you're constantly fighting fires if the same thing keeps on happening over and over again we'll just spend a few minutes thinking about it of why is this happening why is this continuing to happen you know what can i do about it you know because a lot of times especially when we're dealing with workers or you know anything else or you know the famous line is like that's how it's always been done right well just because it's always been done that way doesn't mean it's always been right, you know? So, anyway, hopefully this video helps at least. Hopefully you're enjoying the better audio quality while I'm stuck in the car. Um, still going through the book, uh, The Road Less Stupid by Keith Someone. Um, super awesome book. It goes through a myriad of, like, all different types of topics within the business, and they're very... It's not, like, organized or anything. It kind of feels like I wrote a book like that. And because they're kind of like these videos. It's like one day you're listening about this. The next day you're listening about that. So it's kind of like, it seems like this was the guy's, not journal, but basically as he, you know, he's writing a book, he's like, oh, this popped up. Like, this happened in my business. So, like, I'm going to write about this, right? And then, the, you know, next time he sits down to write about the book. Or he, um you know, just gets inspiration or whatever, like, that's the next chapter, you know, and then the whole book, you know, after it's done, like, okay, here, here it is, as opposed to making everything, like, okay, this is the, which I actually probably would nicer, keep it a little bit more organized, is like, okay, this first, you know, third of the book is for increasing your sales or whatever it is, this one is for this, this is for this, and kind of, like, then get all those chapters and put them into those different sections right um because there is a ton of chapters each you know there's some chapters that are only like three minutes long and audible so that's probably like five six pages right so um and most of them is at the end of the chapter it's, it's thinking time so like whatever that topic happens to be on well then he's going to say okay these are the questions you need to you know think about uh, regarding this topic right so anyway hope you uh found this helpful and hope you have an awesome day talk to you